And developers behind a big project in the heart of the Elmwood Village are going to have to wait a bit before finding out if they'll be granted another variance for their plan. Channel 2's Dave McKinley says it is the second time they've asked the Zoning Board of Appeals to give them a break from the city's green code. Do believe Douglas Development, no. headed by Douglas Jamal, has already begun working on the project to turn this block of buildings at Elmwood and Bidwell, including the one with the tango dancers on the side, into what this rendering shows would be a mixed-use complex with retail and apartments, however. The center buildings were in worse shape than we had anticipated. Dealing with that and rampant inflation over the past years combined to drive costs up tremendously. Their solution? We'd like to request a seven foot of additional height. Now that doesn't sound or even look like much, but it would mean much, they say, in terms of making the project financially viable because it would allow them to add an additional floor to the building and expand the number of apartments within from 34 to 51. In order to try to you know, make everything work, um, we need to increase our unit counts, so we really tried our best to increase the unit density within the footprints that we had already established. The thing is, this same group came before this same board 16 months ago and got a variance to the city's green code to have four floors instead of three. Now they want a fifth. This wasn't pleasing to a resident of the Elmwood Village who phoned in to voice his concern to members of the board. You know, the benefit to the applicant is always, always clear. You know, economies of scale, they'll make more money. But the detriment to the community is not so easily defined. One concern raised was that adding more apartments to a building that already would have had no parking for residents would only exacerbate the challenge of parking in the neighborhood. As a solution, the company says it'll allow tenants to park at the Richardson Complex, which Doug Jamal also now owns, and even provide them 24-hour shuttle service if desired. In the end, the board, noting the developers only submitted their request for changes a few days ago, voted to table the measure and require Douglas Development to host a community meeting to inform residents of their desire before the matter is taken up again. Dave Pickley, Channel 2 News.